So in this video we will learn about get view. So basically what is a get view? Suppose we have a view or we have a screen that is dependent on a single controller then instead of extending the stateless widget or stateful widget we can extend a get view. In that case we can use the get view. So now I'm going to remove that code from here to here remove that and write in here class name as my app and then we will extend the get view there we go and in here there will be a controller but first we will go and create a controller class so I'm going to create a new file right in the lib as you guys can see and we will name this as a controller dot dart there we go and here there will be a class name as controller and we will extend the get x control right in here so right extend get x controller there we go and right in here we will have variable we will name this as account and we will give the value 0 and we will make that reactive with the dot obs we already learned about obs in the previous videos if you guys remember so basically that obs make the value of account variable reactive so after this we will have a function so right in here white and we will name this as an increment so we will simply increment the count right in there so in here right count and the increment now we will create another function for the decrement so just simply copy this from here to here and paste it down in here and we will name this as a decrement in here remove that decrement so now we will use that controller just copy it from here and we will use it in the main dot dot right in here as you guys can see so now in here we will write build select that one as you guys can see in here remove that from here and also remove that so in here we will return the get material ape so write return get material ape there we go so let's create a instance first for a control class right in here we will write get dot put and in here the controller the class we created there we go close it semicolon now import the library that one control dot dot now we will work right in the get material ape right in here let's add the title for it first and in title you will say get view after this there will be a home and in home there will be a scaffold widget as usual and in scaffold widget we will have a app bar and app bar we will have a title right in the app bar in here and there will be a text and text we will copy that from here and paste it down in here after this there will be a body and in body there will be a center widget and in center widget there will be a child and in child there will be a column widget and in column widget we will set the properties main axis alignment set it to center then cross axis alignment set it to center 
after this and there we will take the children and in here we will have the OBX widget and here we will set it to text and in text we will say something like the value is and then with the dollar sign and in here we will have a control type instance so right in here controller dot count variable that we created before after this we will set the style in here there will be text style and in text style there will be font size we will set it to 20.0 also set the font weight it will be bold come in here come in here after this we will have an elevated button but first we will have a size box to create some spacing between them or let's say height so size box there we go give the height 10.0 then elevated button there we go and child we will have a text and in text we will say right in there increment button Read in the on press now. We will print write control dot hash code. It will simply print the control with the hash code the instance that we use it here. So now semicolon in here. After this we will write controller the instance and then we will call the increment function in here there we go now after this we will have another elevated button for the decrement so in here first copy that size box and paste it down in here and after this in here you will have an elevated button just copy this and paste it down in here so now in here we will remove that increment and we will write decrement there we go and change this also to decrement there we go so there's all the code for a get view now we will run the application and see the result and that's how we work with the get view so simply go there and click on display button it will take some time just wait as you guys can see here get view so now if I press on the increment button or the decrement button there will be a increment value or decrement value and also they will print the hash code right in here in the run so let's see now as you guys can see it's increment the value and there is a hash code so now let's decrement it there we go and there is a hash code and the hash code will be similar as you guys can see in the run so that's how we can work with the get view and that's it for this video and we will work further in the next video